Come on! Hi, I'm Lavi. And I'm Ollie. And this is our hero, Bumblebee. Together, we are attempting a Guinness World Record to become the youngest pair to circumnavigate the globe by, by motorcycle. motorcycle. Join us for season three here in South America. Super Tenerey! No! Oh no! Maybe we have to push. Ready? Go, go, go! Hey! Good job there's always a hill when you need one, hey? Okay, let's just hope that Bumblebee starts. <laughs> hey! Yes, I like that sound. Bumblebee's a legend. Legendary bike. <laughs> <Yeah. sighs> woo, woo, woo I love this little road. <laughs> I want a road like this heading up to our house in the future. <laughs> <laughs> a little jungle track. Yeah, so this place was actually where we camped last night. And it's actually just off the main road, which is absolutely epic. You just follow this little track and then you have a nice space there. Yeah, look, just here, we're back at the Route to 7. If you go check on traffic, We get on our side of the road. Yeah, this is our side. Okay. Okay, ready? Vamos. Vamos. Good morning world. Welcome back to the channel. It's day number 272 on our circumnavigation around the globe by motorcycle. We're here on the Ruta 7 in Chile. Whee! And it's a really grey misty tropical feeling day today <laughs> yes. we've been uh, following this road north for the past couple of days and it is an absolutely epic road and we're just in love with it and in love with chile it's just amazing so let me show you guys where we're headed today so we are all the way up here and today we are going to be continuing on the route 7 up here before turning off to head back over to the border to Argentina. Yeah, so it will be really exciting today to cross back into Argentina. Yes. <laughs> so that will be really cool. And then we try to get as far north as we can. So we don't really know where we uh, end up tonight. We will see. Yeah, it really depends, I guess, on the road condition between this road, the Ruta 7. We're going to be following it for about 80 miles north. Then we turn off and we're heading over to the pass, which is the border between Chile and Argentina, but we really don't know the condition of that road. So it's going to be exciting to find out. Yes, and it's already 8.20, so better hit the road, let's go. Oh, beautiful. Yes, look at this. And from the smell, you can smell it's not a lagoon here, but it's actually an inlet from the ocean. One of the many thousands upon thousands of inlets that come on this coast of Chile. And this channel here is called the Puyupi Channel or the Puyupi Channel. It heads to the next town that we're going to reach in a little bit called Puyupi. It's just beautiful and dramatic this morning with all the misty clouds on the forested mountains. Feels like a lost world here. With the perfect tarmac road. <laughs> <laughs> no, perfect. Perfect for touring, you know, it's like it's nice. <laughs> Yeah, that's this road, the Carretera Austral, the southern road of Chile. Yeah. It's just a dream road. <laughs> Disappointing. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's okay. Actually, the dirt roads here, they are all right. They're at least not deep gravel. It's more like uh, potholes. Anyway, yesterday we went around the bike and we uh, tightened up any loose bolts that had been shaken loose from the road over the last few days. 
I hope everyone is proud of us. <laughs> a little bit of TLC for Bumblebee. <laughs> and you know, there were a couple uh, that were a little bit loose, nothing uh, too extreme, but uh, you know, we caught them before they, you know, the bolt fell out completely. Yeah, but wow, our bike is so strong. I can't believe it, really. Our tires are strong, our bike is strong. We had no issues in like 14,000 miles. Wow. I yeah. mean, I'm so super impressed, guys, really. Yeah, Bumblebee seems to be able to face literally anything. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. I just wait for the day when it starts flying. Little cows, big cows, many cows. Hello, Not many cows. cows. <laughs> wow, okay, there we go. <laughs> Not enough pasture anywhere else, hey? <laughs> hey, the best grass is on the road. <laughs> Come on, guys. It's like no fields around here. <laughs> Our first town of the day, Puerto Poyapi. And we're going to see if we can fill up Bumblebee here. Because on this road, it's always good to uh, fuel up whenever you can. <clears throat> Sometimes the petrol stations don't have any fuel. So, so where is the petrol station? Yeah, it's like really in the corner of the corner of the corner. So you just follow this road here. Okay. Just keep going following this wall. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what a cute place, eh? So charming. Yeah, you continue this road here still. There's a bridge coming over the bridge and then you turn to the left straight after. Okay. Yeah. And then to the end. The sign looked so old. Yeah, I'm not sure that these guys are going to have fuel. I don't know, but there is the petrol station. Oh yeah, I see. <coughs> Hola. Hola, buenas. Solamente diesel. Ah, solamente, solamente diesel. diesel. Okay. Ah, okay. okay. Gracias. No, no. Uh, la, la próxima. Punta, sí, 45 kilómetros. 45, okay. Okay, muchas gracias. Chao, chao. <coughs> that should be absolutely fine, so... Okay. No problem. Pas de problem. <laughs> oh no, this was French, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Sin problema. No, I don't si, know. Sin problema. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I think it's coming up actually on this road here. Okay. It's coming up on the left, on this road here. La Junta. Oh yeah, there. Oh, it looks promising. Yeah, that looks like a more substantial petrol station. <laughs> Successful fuel up in La Junta. And now we've got 43 miles to go on the Ruta 7 before our turn off towards Argentina. And it looks like the clouds have parted and the sun is out and it's warming up here in the mountains of Chile. So we've just left the Ruta 7 behind and we're now on our way to the Argentinian border. That means we also left the beautiful tarmac behind and now we're on a beautiful dirt road. <laughs> yeah, it's about 50 miles to the border and let's hope that the road stays light, nice like that. Yeah, we won't have a problem if it's like this. This is great and look at the crazy high mountains all around us. Yeah, pretty. It's Very such an epic, beautiful little road. Okay, so I'm trying to get our backup drone working, but it's almost unbelievable that it's having the same issue as the other one where the gimbal's not working. Okay, let me see. Come on, come on, come on. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. Oh no. Ah, 
it looks like the gimbal isn't working on this camera either I can try and have a fly around and see but no we can't even move the field of view on it it's, it's totally unresponsive oh yeah I all right well we'll just have to continue as we are without any eye in the sky it's pretty disappointing though we lost our main drone about a week ago and then we had our backup drone and now that's gone as well yeah man it's crazy absolutely crazy we have them in like a sort of soft picnic bag um, which is inside the rear box so I don't know how better we can store them to be honest I have no idea so that means the dirt roads over the past week have broken our GoPro holder on the front bars and two drones yeah crazy stuff hey crazy man I guess we're gonna have to organize a bit of an equipment upgrade but it's a very beautiful place anyway yeah it's stunning man so you guys will have to just enjoy it at ground level So unfortunately half of this road seems to be under construction it looks like they are preparing it for putting tarmac I think but what that means for us is that instead of a nice dirt road with a nice road surface they basically coat the whole thing in gravel yeah I mean this bit for example is looks like basically fresh gravel that they've just dropped down either it's nice to have a dirt road just as a dirt road or a tarmac road just as a tarmac road but when it's at this in-between stage that's when it can be really tough riding roads under construction are not good for motorcyclists are we going left or right oh wait yeah because at, i think we have a turn off here let me just see on maps me I think we are going to the uh, left here. We had a stroke of luck. We turned off of that road that was being worked on. And now this one is way better. And we've got these beautiful mountain views that we can enjoy a little bit more now. I have my peace bag. Just stopping to take off some layers because it is hot now wow the sun came out hey flying along on the dirt road Whee! yeah this is a beautiful stretch look at this so it's just about 30 kilometers now to the uh, border crossing it didn't take us the whole day <laughs> to get through the border that's good yeah this is just great riding at the moment great yeah. riding this afternoon or is it still the morning it's 12 40 12 40 yes okay oh there we go yes one o'clock and we've reached the border can you believe it wow we did really well wow 40 miles this morning cool frontera Woo! yes <laughs> he said cheaper fuel okay let's park the bikes at the front estacionamente uh aquí Gonna do this and okay. then turn back this way. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. 
Right, I've got to do this stuff with the border. I'll be right back. <laughs> Chile, Argentina. Look, there's a guard dog standing in the way. No, you cannot enter <laughs> unless you give me a pat on the head. Here we go, heading in. Oh, this is the Argentinian side already. Oh. There you go. There we go. Okay. Well, that was really close. <laughs> I rode for like one minute. Okay, vamos a la Argentina. Gracias. Ciao. Woo! Oh, I didn't do my blimmin' helmet out, did I? Oh, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Beautiful. Look at this. So this is actually a national park that we've just entered on the Argentinian side and it's called Parque Nacional Los Alerces. So now we've got about 30 miles to go to reach the town of Trevelin, the first Argentinian town we'll encounter and uh, then we can stop there, have a bit of food, have a bit of a break but I think after Trevelin it's still another possibly 80, 100 miles to go. So the hostel is in a town called Cholil. It's got a really cheap room price. So if we can get there, take a room after many, many days of camping and dirt roads, then that'll be great. I hear they have a shower as well. I think our GoPro tape solution at the front here is starting to uh, Starting to loosen, look. Oh my god. Starting to fall apart. Oh yes. We have made it to a Panaderia. Woo! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> and it's amazing. We're back in Argentina, so everything is super cheap. Bravo! Well, what do we have? So that's an egg, olive and queso sandwich or cheese sandwich and then here's another sandwich with a lot of salad and <laughs> mini pizza! <laughs> <laughs> Bravo! <laughs> Nikos just translated to us, very cheap here, I will take more food. <laughs> muito mais, muito, muito, muito mais. Yeah, we really needed a rest after something like 160 miles, a lot of dirt roads up and over the pass but we made it we're here in Trevelin we're gonna take a rest and then do the final push to the hostel no yes <laughs> yes what I have churros Coming up to six o'clock now, but our final destination of the day is up ahead, the small town of Cholil. Cholila? Cholila. Cholila. Cholila! Woo! <laughs> Home for the next few days. <laughs> oh yes, there's the panaderia, we found it already. Okay. Yes, that's where we'll get breakfast. Very important. There's the Bomberos, the fire brigade. Yes. Yeah. Then the Petro station. Oh, is this the only one? I think so. Okay. Super! Look at this, it's like a roundabout park. This is a very, uh, very cute place indeed. I think we're going to be very comfortable here. Uh, we're going to have a bed tonight! Woo! <laughs> uh, 
Huh? Cabanas. Los Tres Picos. What was the name of the hostel? It's not this one. Piuki Mapu, Patagonia Hostel. It says closed on the sign. <laughs> Let's check it out. So at the moment we've had a walk around and there's like nobody here. Um, so we've messaged the owner on booking.com because we've actually reserved the place on booking.com but there seems to be like no one around uh, so we've sent them a message and uh, we'll just wait and see if they get back to us okay so we've waited around for a while here and it doesn't look like <coughs> anyone's home actually so <coughs> we found another hostel in town just up the road so we're going to go over there and see what the room price is over there <coughs> new cars is your battery dead again? Oh my lord. Come on then. Ready? Three, two, one, go! Yeah! Oh! Is this the owners? Are you here? Ah! Hola! Dario! Dario! Nice Dario. to meet you! Oli! Oli! Oli, nice to meet you! Um, when you make a reservation? Oh, just uh, just one hour. One hour. Oh. So yes, you didn't... Yes. No, you didn't see. You Sorry. Didn't. Sorry. Yes. Good evening guys, we made it! Happy and alive! Yes! Yes, I can't believe we managed to conquer all those dirt roads and make our way across the border back into Argentina. Welcome back Argentina! Today was a pretty long day mm -hmm. um, with a whole mixture of different roads. I think the roads were just playing with us today. It was like, yes, 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 amazing. Oh my God, deep gravel. Oh, it was amazing. Oh, this is not so bad. Oh, beautiful landscape. Oh my God, we're nearly falling over. But we didn't fall. No, it was a successful day and we've made our way to this beautiful hostel here in the beautiful little town of Cholila. And after six days on the road, it's finally time for us to have a bit of a rest. And have a shower. <laughs> and have a shower, which is coming up very very soon yes and that's it from us today at the end we did 270 miles which is about 430 kilometers and we hope you enjoyed the episode if so please give us a thumbs up subscribe to the channel share the video with your friends and family comment below and we will see you next time